And we're live. We're live. Live from Meandering Path is named by Underscore. This is the ninth show of the Contour Tour, as named by Mutie. And speaking of Mutie, a huge donation. Thank you, Mutie. Mutie writes, choo choo, halfway to the goal, hi slash bye. <laughs> Thank you, Mutie. Thank you. And, and Cobro, a donation from Cobro. Thank you, Cobro. Wow, thank you so much. Wow, thank you. Honor for Cobro and Mutie. Get us to our reward already. Thank you. Let me see. Oh, who's here? Molotov Cocktails here. GD Bill, Rowdy Rowdy Chuger, Douglas Fillmore, Doms is Bring the Pie Charts Back, Arito, Kid Vet is here, Sarcastic Destroyer is back. Nice to see you back. Neighborhood Watch, Staffy, Eminem and Eminem, Skeeter, Cobro, Underscore. It said a troll is even here. Let's see. Go day. Oh, we should do we should do the reward by before I forget for six songs. Oh, and let's do a uh, uh, let's do a Rowdy Rowdy Chuger's commission. Thanks, Rowdy Rowdy Chuger. Thanks so much for yesterday getting that getting that uh, get all the getting all the encore madness happening. Thank you so much. Uh, so yeah, we'll do. Uh, well, let me get the. It's time for some art. If you want some art for your stuff. Staff says, we can request as much as we want. It just decreases the odds of any one particular of our requests making it. Correct. Yep. So if you request just one thing, you have extremely high chance. You're not guaranteed though. So there is reason, good reason to, to request more than one thing. Um, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Create new... No. Commission process. Create a new song for commission, yes. Approve request, yes. Oh, Rowdy Rowdy Chuger's in the mood for Locrian. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Let's look at these rewards. Events. Oh, I'd really be nice if I did this before every show. You know, it saved me a lot of time. Okay. Um, Doug got a mosaic of a death within a dead <laughs> by, by the famous pop singer Nyumkep Pav Enigma from 1978. 
Recently appraised at seven million. A mosaic of a death within a dead. Wow, very dark. Eminem and Eminem got an ink drawing of a slug at a transistor by the mediocre art student Mad Dog Smudgely from 1677, valued at 1.9 million. Man, y'all are in the money today. Staffy got a graphite drawing of a blue, sweet-smelling skunk above a mandolin by the long-forgotten artist Swanga and Jonga. Swanga? I like that name, Swanga. From 1928, worth only $172. Colt McTwitchin, proprietor of the Jack Hammer Ventura Gallery, described the work as a suplex to the brain. Molotov Cocktail got a photograph of the rip-roaring tubey by the legendary philanthropist Tolf Balloonington from 1609, purchased at auction for $7,000. Neighborhood Watch got an acrylic painting of a teal blueberries by the mysterious pop singer Filbert Blunt Dish Bamzalm from 250 AD. I love that there was pop music in 250 AD. Uh, pop, pop music is forever. Purchase at auction for $9,881. Constantine Kla Gla 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 Glepat, director of the Bloke Mixalot Gallery, describes the art as being in the classical realism style. Meanwhile, Skeeter got a charcoal drawing of a Kirkurbit. Man, we see Kirkurbit all the time in Bot Talk. Why, why, why is it so frequent? A charcoal drawing of a Kirk Herbert between a laundry by the mysterious pop singer. And what's with all these pop singers doing art today? Pop singer Bo Real Book from 1953 worth approximately 277000 Sarcastic Destroyer got a collage of a coffin amid a sewer mud. <laughs> oh, no. By the, another pop singer. What is up with this? By the futuristic pop singer Vuvu Valentine from 1382 B.C. insured for 162000 uh, Underscore got an oil painting of the of the educational staffy games by the infamous dilettante Mal Ulfomagil Schultz from 1949, insured for $4,400. Idontum Darlick, board member of the Cupcakes Trader Museum of Fine Art, <laughs> described the piece as a crusher to the kneecaps. The Cupcake Trader Museum of Fine Art. That might be my favorite museum that's ever been generated by Botok. Cupcake Trader. What is a cupcake trader? Chow, what, what would that be? What, what Cupcake trader? Museum of Fine Art? Or is that just somebody's name? Someone was born cupcake trader. Rowdy Rowdy Jew got an etching of a bomb squad in front of a boinky by the legendary artist George Angel from 1562. Recently appraised at 7,500. Lil Twix Goose Maracazad. Primary benefactor of the Jimmy Cactus Museum of Fine Art, Fine Art described the work as a tub thumper to the brain. A sarcastic destroyer says somebody who likes cake instead of cupcakes. Is that a pie? I can't see your remote. Um, and then Koro got a concrete sculpture of the beautiful to be or not to Bob by the famous artist Dote Beatrice. From 2003, recently appraised at 88,000. Who appraised that to me? Did you appraise it? Um, Etc. got a lithograph of a baby giraffe behind a noodle. <laughs> um, uh. I want I want I want Tubi to be famous just so that there's a subreddit where people go and make art of things that Tubi's created. <laughs> just for that reason. Cause I wanna see that. I wanna see a baby giraffe behind a noodle by Balmy Blobfish from nineteen seventy eight. Centrals is a big noodle. <laughs> Oh man, um, I I want one. I want a reward too. Let's see, what did I get? An engraving that's a portrait of Boeg's Crumbixka's blood. <laughs> These names. <laughs> Crum, crumic, crumic skis blood. There we go. Crumic skis blood. You just have to practice it. Boeg's crumic. Uh, I thought I had it. 
Boleg's Krummig's blood, Krum, Krummigski's blood, Boleg's Krummigski blood, by the futuristic artist Marge, oh no, Nuts and Faith Singsby. <laughs> what? Marge Nuts. Nuts and Faith Singsby from 1919, worth approximately $2,000. The Conqueror Adapters, board member of the New Zealand National Gallery, views the art as being a mixture of cubism and American realism. A mixture of cubism and American realism. I mean, he says, yes, this show is crazy, crazy good. I got really mad at myself after leaving. We had a 200 people raid, and I forgot to remind you about YouTube. <laughs> uh, no worries. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to. I need to add YouTube to. It's not even on the social command, is it? I still need to. I mean, I need to do more YouTube. <laughs> That's what I need to do. Uh, Rad, Raddy Chuger's fifth key. I, I'm aiming to do um, another of those tracks on Monday, and I still have. I still have a video I could do from about the. Uh, tragedy video and I have a video of a poem that I just haven't I haven't had the energy to I get bogged down in finishing details sometimes <laughs> I, I honestly this is to sound ridiculous but I got bogged down in in the final little frame where I had to put the credits I got I, I got I can't do this right now <laughs> that was like three or four days ago uh, let's see. Chuger's fifth key. Did, I, I think, I think it was, uh, I'm betting that, um, is it, well, yeah. Let's see. I know I didn't finish that thought. Okay, zero out. Oh, I need to turn off the reward. You know, the other thing about reward, you know what I could do? Maybe I should make the reward. Maybe I should make the timeout period longer. I mean, the, uh, what's it called? What's the term? Anyway, and then I could just leave it on the whole show, you know? If I just did a seven hour timeout, cool down, there we go, thanks Penguin. Yeah, cool down. Because the poor folks, you know, Poor folks who, who only make it at the end of the show aren't able to enjoy the reward. I don't know. What do y'all think? But then that would mean you wouldn't be able to get love. Now, you know, once the cooldown period's done, you can get some love. So it's a trade-off. Definitely a trade-off. I made changes to my um, my template, my Ableton Live template, some good changes. But somehow in the changes, I, I neglected to put all my effects chain on track number five. And so it's been like a week, and I keep going to track five, am I gonna put some distortion on on track five, whatever it is, or I'm gonna put a, oh, I'm, I'm gonna put some, uh, I'm gonna put some serious delay on, I'm gonna do this, and then I get there and there's nothing there. <laughs> I gotta remember to do that. Senator Charles says, don't put kid in charge of a hospital triage. Sir, wait, we need to cover up the logo of your pants before you amputate your leg. Priorities. You know, I'm, I'm not the only music person who, who talks about copyright. I've seen some other music YouTubers, just sort of curious what other people are doing. And there's this guy, uh, Rick Beato, and he, he, gets, he gets outraged. He gets outraged in sort of different ways than I do, but, um, but he gets outraged. 
I mean, I'm 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 empathetic to his uh, his outrage. I don't know that we would share the same feelings about length of copyright, but his his main outrage is about fair use. I don't talk about fair use very much. Let's see. Okay. Evan, Evan, this is what you do. Goes beyond talking. It's a look in your eyes. I, you'll see it in his eyes. He gets he gets angry. <laughs> he gets so furious. I mean, there's a there's a self righteousness to it. I will acknowledge, you know, and, and him too. His outrage is that he's trying. He he does these videos where he'll just he'll like talk about a song, he'll look at a, a famous song and, and say why it's great, you know? So he's promoting this song. He's not playing the soul song. He's just playing little excerpts of it. And he'll get blocked. Not demonetized, but literally the video will be taken down. And and it's 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 a flagrant abuse of, fair, of copyright because you are allowed to do fair use, but he's got no way to fight it. It's 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 awful. And these, these, these record labels and the... Uh, Publishing companies that are doing it are they're idiotic. They are absolutely idiotic. Here he is trying to promote their music and he and he's a boomer, you know, he's older. So he's mainly doing bands that are that are not are way past their prime, that are gonna be forgotten about if even though they're big, they will be forgotten about. And he's trying to raise their profile and these these idiotic companies block his videos sometimes. I mean, they already are making all the money on it. These companies take all the money because he includes someone else's music in it, which is also a flagrant abuse of copyright law. Anyway, I'm not going to get it. I'm getting angry on his behalf, and I don't even have to deal with <laughs> what he has to deal with. Uh, let's see, Melody. Oh, I was going to turn the, I was going to turn, let me just turn on. I, I haven't made a decision yet on how I'm going to handle rewards. So for now, we're, we're returning it to love. Okay, we're in F. Locrian. And this is, we're doing, uh, we're doing Rowdy Rowdy uh, Chuggers. We're doing Rowdy Rowdy Chuggers Melody. It's, a, it's slap that baby, make him free. What do we got? C flats, yeah. Oh, staff, you've, you've made the art. Is it, it's on Discord? <laughs> awesome, Stavi. You, 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 know you know what you need to do, Stavi, is, is just add the text. Um, from the original, everyone everyone will know the context of it. <laughs> Thank you, Stabby. Okay, our drum kit. Hey, Sa Saban Junior. Thanks for the thanks for the sub. Thank you. Molotov cocktails. His miracle sound had a third party anti-piracy companies filed YouTube copyright strikes against him for posting his own original music on his own his YouTube channel yeah <laughs> yeah yeah I think I think the problem the, the main problem with the system now it's I mean YouTube it, it's not really YouTube's fault well <sighs> What, what what needs to be fixed is there needs to be a way for those of us who are being fraudulently claimed against can fight back. 
Right now, we can't, even if they're committing fraud against us. We can't fight against some big company. So we just have to accept it, you know? I have videos of improvs that have been demonetized, not that they're making any money anyway, but, but someone has claimed them totally illegally, but I can't risk it. It's not worth me, for me, because I'm not making any money. Why would it, why even risk it? Then it's just for principle, and I do enough stupid things just for principle already. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm lucky, right? Because I'm not making any, well, I'm unlucky. I'm not making any money already on it. So, but there are people who are, who are really harmed um, by these fraudulent co claims or people who are doing legitimate fair use and are having all their money taken, even though they're doing legitimate fair use. It's pretty outrageous. Let's see. Okay. Don't worry, I'm not gonna, that, that's, that's my rant, that's it. Uh, Beats. Dance, magic, dance. Say, Mrs. Prince was their own word, never compromise. One of the things I've, I've realized is that the problem is if you're a very principled person, you, it's impossible to be, you'll find inevitably that one principle will, will conflict with another one. And you have to make really tough decisions because you cannot, it is not possible to be idealistic about everything. It's, it's impossible. Um, So for the idealistic person, it's a matter of deciding what is most important. What, what can you realistically be idealistic about? Let's see. Dance, magic, dance. Magic, dance. I love this kit. Magic, dance, magic. Cobra says, isn't one view on YouTube something like one-tenth of a penny? Uh, if, you're, if you're partnered, if you're not partnered, I don't, you, don't, you don't get any money. Yeah. I mean, the other thing about principle too is we have limited time, right? That's that's the thing. Um, and so we're we're in inevitably making compromises in terms of how much time we devote to things. We got our beats. Yeah, I've, I, my feelings about idealism have, have changed a lot, I think. Uh, when I was younger, I was very idealistic about idealism. Now I've sort of accepted that the realities of being an idealist are not very good. Um, I think the world is a better place. I, I don't think the world is it's good for people like me to be as idealistic as we are, it's really not good. We need people who are have ideals but aren't, yeah. I can't change the way I am, but I wouldn't want other people to, to live the way I've lived a lot of my life. Let's see, acid base. <laughs> And then advanced FM. Eminem says, you stop being idealistic. I'm so proud of you at doing YouTube. <laughs> I haven't succeeded in doing very much so far, have I, though? <laughs> and then... Um, Arcane Mystery. 
Kubu Bells. I, truly idealistic people, we, we're a danger to ourselves and we're a danger to other people. So it's, it, the, the, I think the key is to, is to have ideals but not be idealistic, where that defines who you are, because it's dangerous, very dangerous. Most dangerous people in the world are idealists. Bebop organ. And then flutes. Because the problem is idealism can go in different directions. There's, there's a, there's a, anyone remember that the Bible story of Saul and, uh, and Saul was a, the, these, Saul was a king or something. And I think it was Saul. And these, these two women come to Saul and one of the, and, and they, and they, they, there's one baby, two women, and they both say the baby is their baby. And, um, and so Saul says, well, since we can't figure out whose baby it is, how about we cut the baby in half and each woman gets a baby, gets half of the baby. And then one of the women says, uh, no, the other woman can have the baby then. And Saul gives it to her, right? The thing is that both of those things are idealistic. That it can be the, somebody saying, I'd rather cut the baby in half on principle. That's idealism right there. It's also idealism that the, what the woman who was willing to sac give the baby to the other woman because for her, life was more important than her having the child. So idealism can go in very extreme ways. That's the problem. That's the problem. Is that the idealist can metaphorically be willing to do something that willing to cut a, you know, the baby in half solely because that's what is fair, what is right, is equal to vision, right? Flutes. Okay, uh, this is a commission. Um, but, you know, I mean, this show is still here because I'm an idealist. There's no practical reason this that I should keep doing this. <laughs> no, you know, um, it's it's I, stubborn idealism. Davis says Solomon wasn't planning to actually cut the child in half. No, I know. I know that Solomon was using it as a test, right? But to me, it's the thing is that that's idealism at its extreme, is that idea that you are willing to sacrifice other people in order to reach your ideal, right? That's what, that's how, re, you know, revolutions are willing to, you know, kill people, lots of people because of an idea. Uh, I think that's my biggest problem with my own idea. Not, not that that's, not that I'm thinking of doing those things, but, but just that what I see negative in myself over the course of my life is that I've, I can get so fixated on an idea that I forget the people, right? And that's, that's why idealists can be so dangerous. Is they're willing to, uh, you know, an idealist is willing to be a suicide bomber. There, you know, when you look around the world and find the reality so unacceptable that any course of action is justified because in trying to reach some ideal. And you can take to that to extreme of someone who's willing to blow themselves up or an artist who destroys himself in pursuit of some idealistic end, you know? I mean, his ideals are okay. Oh, your message disappeared. We're gonna beat the hour despite all this. 
He says, ideals are okay as long as you realize that ideals stem from ideas. Ideas are based on knowledge. Knowledge is dynamic. It changes with ideas. Once you get stuck in an idea and defend it, even though you're wrong, that's where a lot can go wrong. Oh, and Doug! Doug with the donation. Thanks, Doug. Says, will this song be starting soon, Kappa? It will, Doug. I had to think about it for a moment. <laughs> um, oh, and uh, but thank, thank you, Doug. Thanks for that. Thank you. Et cetera, named their sound. This sound is a copyright violation. I mean, I probably, I think my usage of idealist is uh, probably not totally fair. Because maybe in a, in a way, what I'm describing is more of an extremist, <laughs> which, um, you know. Oh, and uh, hey, Q scores here. Norwegian greaser, death by coffee. But it's interesting. I, I've had I've had a lot of friends in my life who've been very active in various, you know, political, social type causes and. And it's interesting, there are some of them who are unable to ever disconnect from what they're, they're fighting for. And they're generally very unhappy people. They're this extreme idealists that they'll look around the world and say, this is not right and cannot experience joy themselves. As long as you know one person is still suffering, they can't experience joy themselves. And then there are others who are just as active but are able to, to separate themselves. And, you know, in a way, I think are less idealistic because they're able to step back and say, I can't solve everything right now. I, I need to be able to live a life as well. They're more pragmatic about it, right? And I think ultimately, I, I mean, I'm like the, the former, like that that's more the way I am. Uh, So to me, yeah. Okay, it's in this pope. Oh, thanks, buddy. Donation from buddies. Buddy says, keep following your heart, kid. You rock. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Sad shows creepy when kid dances to his own music. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> We're about. I've actually I've already faded out the videos playing. The projector's been turned on. We're about to accelerate.
I guess what I'm trying to say is that I think there's a difference between having ideals and trying to be an ideal, right? Like where you are defining yourself by your ideals, that to me is what is, is dangerous and has been harmful in, for me. I think it's, it's, it's not being able to detach yourself at all from your ideals. That's what to me is a problem. But having, I, I definitely want people to, to, um, to have, to, you know, to have goals, to, to want things to be better, to want things to change, you know, definitely. Um, but I think there's a, there's a difference between, uh, yeah, having something and being. There's no flexibility when you're, you're defining yourself as this, yeah. Okay, here we go. I got, I'm, I, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. Time to accelerate.
I'll be back live in just a moment. My present day self is running around behind me doing some post song stuff. In the meantime, if this is your first time watching, welcome. I'm ETC Kid, AKA the Etc. Kid. The music you just watched was improvised from scratch, but I got a lot of help from chat. Just before the song, they chose the sounds I was using, the speed of the music. I turned people's names into drum rhythms. So there are many ways you can participate. The easiest way to get involved right away is to type exclamation point drums for a chance to be a rhythm on an upcoming song. You can also name the songs we create here, help write what our bot Tubi says, and we have fun community projects on our Discord. So we've got a lot going on. It might seem a little overwhelming at first, but if you take a leap of faith, you'll have everything figured out super fast. So welcome. I look forward to meeting you in chat. So it took me a while, but I've finally jumped on the social media bandwagon. You'll find me on some new up and coming platforms like Friendster and MySpace. I just created a new Vine account. I post highlights from the show on there, old songs, poetry recitations, behind the scene photos, content like this. Okay, this is my uncover of the song. It's a long way to Tipperary. It's from 1912. It's a long way to Tipperary It's a long way to go It's a long way to Tipperary To the sweetest girl I know Goodbye to Piccadilly Goodbye to Leicester Square it's a long way to Tipperary, but my heart is always there. I Know My Soul by Claude McKay. I plucked my soul out of its secret place and held it to the mirror of my eye to see it like a star against the sky a twitching body quivering in space, a spark of passion shining on my face. And I explored it to determine why this awful key to my infinity conspires to rob me of sweet joy and grace. And if the sign may not be fully read, if I can comprehend but not control, I need not gloom my days with futile dread, because I see a part and not the whole. Contemplating the strange, I'm comforted by this narcotic thought. I know my soul. Thanks for those calps, thanks. Thanks Rowdy Rowdy Chugger for the commission. Titles, Karo Sieben. Welcome, Karo Sieben with Inverted Immersion. Sabin Jr. East of Ideal. Molotov Cocktail Broken Ideals. Staffy Inner Nature. Skeeter Shadow Mind. Eminem and Eminem. The Prison of Idealism.
Oh, thanks, Rowdy Rowdy Sugar. If he won't get his plate again. Hey, oh, Skyworks here. Wookie on a bike, welcome. Scorpion UK, Fire Arcade Sky, hey, everybody. Some other titles, Scorpion UK, Chaos and Hell. Norwegian Greaser, an ideal title. It's at a troll, ideal, in ideals. Q Square, out of step. Says, if I want to purchase a compilation of all my faves, could Tubi maybe sort that out for me? Um, Tubi could give you a list of links. Theoretically, I mean, you can already get it. Uh, if you, if it depends how many favorites you have, uh, but if um, you can run the my favorites command and Tubi will give you links to Bandcamp for each album. But I have no way at this point to dynamically generate an album, unfortunately. If there was a lot of demand for it, I could come up with something probably, but it'd be a sort of a big project. A link list? Yeah, so if you run my favorites, uh, it'll give you your last 10. Um, I don't have a way, uh, right now it doesn't show all of them. They're all in the database, but uh, just because of the limitations of uh, Whisper, it only sends 10. Hey, Shadam. And does my favorite, does that, I, I don't know if the Euro, if the British spelling works. Let me check. It does. And my faves also works, it looks like. Both spelling of favorites and faves. If you didn't get it, if, if it didn't work for you, be wonky, um, you might want to whisper that command to Tubi to make sure you can receive whispers from Tubi. Because the first one you ran should have worked. The very first time you ran it, that should have, if it didn't work, try whispering that to Tubi. Send this bow. And Mutis named it the prison. The prison of idealism. 
Thank you. Thanks, Beauty. Thanks, Rowdy Rowdy Sugar. That was the prison of idealism. <laughs> I'm not going to... I'm not going to tell, I'm not going to discuss the circumstances of this, but I, just to show my capacity for ex extremeness, I, I went on a hunger strike briefly at one point in my life. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let's see. Um, Raddy Raddy Sugar named their sound. Bilbo Underhill. And the problem is I got what I wanted out of it. <laughs> I got what I wanted out of it. Maybe not the lesson. It wasn't very long, but the problem is that Everyone involved knew, knew me, and knew that I would, I would take it all the way. <laughs> you know, which I, I, I'm, I'm laughing because I don't think that's a good thing. I don't think that's a good thing. You know, willingness to do things like that, because in this case for an idea, that's not a good thing. The world needs people who are willing to make sacrifices, for sure. The world doesn't need people who are willing to sacrifice everything. That's not good. Let's see. Okay, let's zero out. <laughs> Doc says, <laughs> I got too excited and I misquoted. <laughs> oh, thanks, Beyond Fenestrable. Thank you. Uh, do you remember that's your say my name? I was saying you're wrong, say my name. It's, it, do you want me to keep calling you that? Be unfenestr, be unfenestratable. There we go. <laughs> hey, Cobro, we're doing your commission, Cobro. But I think, you know, I think the thing that some of the things that I'm most ashamed of in my life involve me being so focused on, on a goal, on an ideal, on an idea that, that other people in my life suffered because of it. Not, you know, it's not, I didn't directly do anything to harm them, but, but the thing is that it's, very easy for there to be collateral damage when you have that kind of mentality. And I'm not, I'm not proud of, of that. Let's see, what, where are we at? Why is my Ableton not loaded up? Cobras, is it possible to have extra sounds? Oh, did it actually load some extra sounds? D did more sounds show up? That be unfenestratable says, I'm surrounded by windows, so yes, please. Were there extra sounds? Did you want extra sounds or were there extra sounds? There might have been a bug that loaded extra sounds. Let me just make sure there aren't...
Oh, it looks okay. Okay. Um, Cobro, it, the way my Ableton template's set up, I can only, I really can just have the six sounds. I mean, I can, I, th theoretically I could have, yeah, it, I theoretically can, but not easily. I mean, I, I, there's, there's basically, I could have, I can have up to seven sounds looping, eight, eight plus the drums. But that seven sound is, it's a little hard to explain, but it's a little, it's, yeah. Okay, we got a melody. Hi. Skyrus, is that a limitation of Ableton or just how you use it? Uh, it's a limitation how I use it. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can have way more. I mean, in my Ableton thing, I have 20 something tracks. Um, but he, he, well, it's, here's the, here's why, here's the issue. Um, so I have a 16, a 16 channel audio interface. And so if I have eight, tracks total and they're stereo I'm using up all my audio so I'm limited to eight so I have there's six that y'all can request there's the drums which is the fifth and then there's um the sick uh, the the sorry is the drums is the seventh and the eighth is it's my utility track and I have multiple sounds that can go to that track but I can only but they're all on the same track so any effects I apply I can only have one of those sounds looping at a time um, so sometimes when we, you know, when, when you hear a piano sound it, or, or the string sound when they weren't requests, those are on my one utility track. So I can't, I, I can have both the piano and strings going at the same time, but I don't have independent control of them. So I would need a new audio interface in order to have more than that. Um, honestly, I don't think that for looping, it, I would really, it, I really need more tracks other than it might be, it would be nice to have the kick drum on its own track. So I can side chain the bass sometimes. It'd be nice to have the drums a little more control, but um, the more sounds, the more I have to deal with for each song, you know? So I don't know that it would really be, it would slow things down to have even more sounds. Um, from a, you know, from a production point of view, well, it really depends. I mean, you know, there's so much music, amazing music, music that's been made with just drums, bass, and guitar. You know, three sounds. Um, but I would, I would like the. Um, it would be nice if we're if we're ever going to do a dance music, you know, an EDM type night where we're doing it's really focused on dance music. Um, it would be nice to have independent independent control of the kick drum. Do you, would you like to recover your work? No, I don't. Norwegian Greece, so what you're saying is it wouldn't be ideal? BFN, well, did you get chatting to some about Raspberry Pi and Arduinos for triggering? For triggering what? I only just, I only just started using Arduino two months ago for uh, moving Tubi's, Tubi's head. That was my first experience just a couple months ago. Okay, hi, and then we got our drum kit. Eminem Eminem says, what is your favorite kit for four on the floor? I don't know if I have a favorite. I will say that I'm generally, four on the floor to me generally works the best if we want sort of 
huge, massive four on the floor with electric, electric kits. Acoustic kits just don't have the oomph, you know? So it's just a little disappointing to have, you know, I mean, then it's more like disco. You know, which isn't the kick drums at disco aren't are massive. You know, they're they're there, but they're not massive. So I would say an electric kit, but I'm not sure. BM Fender says I thought you wanted for lights. Oh yeah, there'd be really fun stuff to do with lights. I don't know when I'll have time to do that, but someday, yeah, that'd be cool. Let's see, drum kit. Classic house. And our first beat is uh... Yeah, I mean tribal kit tribal kit is an acoustic kit basically. And the, I mean, it, it's a cool form. The form of the travel kit is cool, but it's not like going to a nightclub. It's just a different, it's a different thing. You know, that kick drum is not, uh, the thing is acoustic kits, the kick drums are often, they're either just, they're just small. They're just smaller. <laughs> That's the easiest way to describe it. They're either smaller or they're sloppier where they where they just, they, they, they sort of, they just sort of fall apart, it, which is really cool for different purposes, right? But if you want some massive club bit, kick drum, it's usually going to be an electric, almost always going to be an electric sample or an electric, a synthesized sound. In my limited experience trying to make that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure there are producers making awesome stuff using acoustic kits for dance music four and i'm again four and the four specifically where you want a massive kick i i like i i tend to like acoustic kits when i want to have a lot of nuance to the beat i want to have a lot of shape to it and, and dynamics uh, electric kits generally aren't great for dynamics, you know, because like an, an acoustic kit, if you lower the a, a real drummer playing a snare drum, if they hit that snare drum at different volumes, they're going to get a different sound. It's not simply turning the volume up or down. There, it's a different tone be, by how hard you hit it. A lot of electric kits, it doesn't matter. You can turn the all you're doing is turning the volume up and down. The sound is exactly the same, whether it's quiet or loud. And so you can't have the same sort of subtleties and shape to it. Now, obviously there's, there's, there's plenty of exceptions, and, but as a general rule, an electric kit's gonna give me power, an acoustic kit's gonna give me um, sort of variation and subtlety. But again, there's countless exceptions. Okay, here's fantastic. Oh, you want 12.8? Okay. Let's do 12.8. Let's see. There's a word I was looking for. Timbre. Thanks, be unfinishable. Timbre. That's a...
There it is. First beat and then drastic plastic. So we got our beats. Let's check out our sounds. Timescape from Cobro. And then we have It Checks Out. Tubular Clockworks. Indonesian Gamelan Gongs. Uh, filter Raindrops. Oh, Staffy's continuing their gifted sub for Muti. Oh, and I'm how did I miss these? Cobro gifted five subs. Thanks, Cobro. A rowdy rowdy sugar named sound Bilbo Underhill. On oh, Hata, socks and angry chicken. Moody, you submitted a commission one instruments blank. Sounds good. Send this poll. Timescape. Cobra says ABC challenge apples, bananas, carrots. Do you, Cobra, do you mean that chat has to go in order or do you mean that um, if you submit a title, each word has to be in order? Or that it can only, you can only use A, B, and C? Because we've done all of those types of challenges before. I'm not sure which one. Each word in the title must be A, B, C. So everyone's titles, to do the inspiration, do A, B, C.
Oh, and I've... Okay, so so Cobro, so it's it's three three words, each each letter in alphabetic order. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, thanks, Cobro. Here we go. Uh, Cobra says it could be any length. Multiple word. Okay, so any length. I guess it needs to be at least two words, right? Up to 26 words. Here we go. Time to etc.
Hi, if this is your first time watching, welcome. I'm the Etc. Kid. What you just heard was improvised entirely from scratch, meaning I was making it up as I went along, but I got a ton of help from Chat. Chat chose all the sounds I was using, the speed of the music, the drum rhythms were generated from people's usernames. So if you want to get involved, the easiest way to do that right away is type exclamation point drums in chat for a chance to be a drum rhythm on an upcoming song. But that's only the beginning. There's many different ways to participate and share your creativity. You can help name all the songs we created on the show. You can help write the script of our channel's bot. We have fun community projects on our Discord. So it might seem a little overwhelming at first. We got a lot going on, but if you stick around, you have it all figured out super fast. So welcome, welcome to the Etcetarati. I'm not only on the Twitch, I'm also on the Instagram, the Twitter, the Facebook, the YouTube, the Discord. Follow me there for more content like this. Hi, I'm the Etc. Kid with your Creative Minute. This is a trumpet, three valves. Each one can be up or down. But if a valve accidentally gets stuck in the middle, you will play a wrong note. The first billion times that happened, it ruined a trumpet player's day. But then one day someone's valve got stuck, and rather than panicking, they realized they could bend the sound, opening up a whole new range of expression that you'll hear all the time in jazz. Whole genres of music exist because musicians embrace something that had been wrong. For the first 20 or 30 years, guitar players were using amps. If they turned up too loud and got a distorted sound, they'd turn right back down because it sounded wrong. But then one day, one of them heard that crunch and realized it was right. And from there was born the sound of electric blues and rock. So we should never be afraid when something goes wrong because it could be a chance for us to discover something that's actually right. Thanks for watching. Please follow, share this, leave a comment. I'd love some more examples of things in music, art, literature, wherever that have gone from being wrong to right. And come hang out on my live stream weekdays, 6 to 11 p.m. Eastern time on Twitch and share your examples there in chat. Hope to see you soon. Let's see. Thanks, thanks for those calps. Thanks, Cobro, for the commission. Titles from Skeeter, powerful, quixotic, rock on tour. Staffy with Don't Ever Forget. Caro Sabian, just kind levitation. Muty, dark energy fields. Penguin with fantastic highs, withering, and rowdy, rowdy, chugger, star taser universe. Hey, Chills. So yeah, maybe next week I might do some video game music. 
and uncover some video game music. Just have to figure out how to decide what the song will be. I'm told that steer clear of Nintendo music. They're tyrants when it comes to uh, their intellectual property. Um, some other titles, Penguin, Faint Giraffe Hiccups, Dom with Doug Eats Food. Is that true, Doug? <laughs> Doug with Car Driving Excitement. Skyborg Xenophobic Yak Zone. Man, you don't want to go there. <laughs> yaks don't like, well, these xenophobic yaks don't like visitors. Cobro admits broken cars, Doug be Doug, eludes fairly gnarly hellhounds inside, just kicking lots more nodes over partially, quietly rotating, somberly time under voltage when Xenomorph's yellow Zamboni. And Staffy, a bigger conquest diselgan, face grants, how is just Carmen leaving me nothing? Ow, perchance quiz round style type unveils victory when Xenophobes yell zealots. Stavis is tough for stars. There have been so many covers of the most known songs. So I, I probably should pick songs that lots of people are playing right now. Right? Shells is just I don't miss story time. I miss it too. I miss it too. I, I it's still part of my long-term vision. Yeah. It's just it doesn't it just doesn't make sense yet. Eminem and Eminem says, what's the groove you're looking for? Kingdom Hearts is a fan favorite, but it's in co-op with Disney. GTA is really quite the greatest station with genres. You could hitchhike on GTA and Red Dead Redemption. Rockstar likes to highlight people who do stuff for their games. Um, I think, st you know, stuff with good melody, because if you have a good melody, it gives me a lot of freedom. I can do tons of other stuff, you know, outside of the melody. Um, things that aren't, things that aren't too um, complicated just because I won't have the time I'm not sure if that's really answering your question but I mean I've thought about I thought I could you know I could try to do the trailer music for uh, cyberpunk 2077 is that what it's 2077 um, it's incredibly simple that track um, which in some ways makes it more difficult. It's so simple. Because it's basically just one, it's just one line, pretty much. A huge sounding synth, I don't know if it's a guitar or a synth, I can't remember. Eminem and M says Final Fantasy's great melodies. Check out the Chocobo theme. Go versus look of risk of rain. Chopo. Chocobo.
but it's just aquatic ambience. Oh, logic. Oh. Oh, that's a bummer. Lots of errors. New logic. Send this pole. I'm an eminence is some. Just think in terms of games, big fan base. People always look at Final Fantasy stuff. Oh, and it's uh, Carol Sabian has named it. Just kind of levitation. Just kind levitation. Awesome, thank you, and thanks, thanks, Cobro, for the commission. I love the uh, the lead sound on that commission. I forgot which what it was. That lead synth, really cool. Rowdy Rowdy Sugar says Chrono Trigger is my favorite. He says, I picked a few similar sounding sounds for my commission as a creative challenge. Could you four on the four? Yeah. Oh, and it's the first title for Caro Sieben. I'm not sure how to say your name. I am Caro Sieben. Sieben? Is that it? Caro Sieben? Congrats, first title. You gotta be kidding me. Fifty-five eighty-six. Where's where's my logic track? Where's logic? Okay, new logic. New Ableton. Oh, 
Okay, how are we gonna address this problem? Oh, there it goes. Okay, good. There we go. Oh man, what is it doing? Come on, logic, you can do it. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's do our melody by Mango. A Frisian. Use those notes at some point in the next. Oh no, uh, Muti has nothing to do with uh, your commission. No. Um, Logic is totally independent from the requ the requests are all essentially in Ableton. Uh, no, it's just Logic wouldn't open the the application wouldn't open, but now it is. Our drum kit is the Trip Pop Remix. doing four on the four drums here we go first up one ins two earth three kick on one insert kick on one okay And then we got the something spaces, these spaces.
Okay, we got our beats. Check out these sounds. Timpani. Chinese Eru violin. Dobro slide. The song of the light bear. I just these these this feel like characters, you know, Song of the White Bear. It's like that meme, you know, where it's it's what you think you look like is this. But you actually look like this. <laughs> Okay, and then I chugged a chord of Intoxicate, and now I'm buzzed. It's a debut. Can I tag along? <laughs> Stab is when you hear your voice on a recording. <laughs> yeah, you think. <laughs> but really, you're. <laughs> Okay, let's see. And it's trombone and baritone. Yeah, I'll pick which sound starts the improv. I've actually I've heard my voice so many, so much that I'm pretty used to it. But I rem I remember I still remember when I first started recording myself, you know, singing in music when I was in high school, and just be like, that's how I sound. I don't know what is going on with the streaming computer. It's where the um, it's where the uh, light show happens, and it's just been nonstop problems the last couple of weeks. And camera switching. Eminem and Eminem says, "Try to inspire a story about three friends. <laughs> Have fun with the music." Cobra says, "I sound like I have a mental disorder in my recordings." Hey, Mr. Robert. Send this boat.
And it's, I chugged a quart of intoxicate. Now I'm buzzed. Yeah, it's fine. I just realized, you know, I, I have, it's sort of, it's a rare, I mean, if you're a broadcaster of some sort, I'm, I'm more used to how I look, how I actually look than the mirror. You know what I'm talking about? Because most of mo until I started broadcasting, the only time I ever had to look at myself was when I had when I accidentally saw myself in a mirror, and then you know it's reversed, and so when I'd see a photograph, it would look totally wrong. But I mean, it looks wrong either way to me. But <laughs> this is wrong. Let's see. I still haven't learned the whole the, the weather thing where I gotta I have to point the opposite direction. You know? <laughs> Everything's reversed. Okay, see if I just close my eyes and I point. Well I need to I can't look at I have just have to remember where things are. I'm all confused now. Eminem and M says, did you know mirrors don't flip right and we flip right in? What do you mean? Oh, it's still not working and no. Albedi says, you know the show QI? Let's see, you have something written on your shirt. You see it reversed in the mirror because you are reading it from behind, not from the front. I got a mirror. I'm going to go over to this mirror just like... I understand what you mean. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, it makes I get it. Yeah. I had, I had to physically do it to understand. Now it makes sense. Because your reflection is looking right at it and it would be your reflection would be able to read it. Cuz you're holding it right to the your reflection. Now it makes sense. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so why can't I? Here we go, time to accelerate.
Hi, if you came in during the music and this is your first time watching, welcome, I'm the Acetera Kid. What you just heard was improvised music, meaning I was making it up from scratch as I went along. But I got a ton of help from chat. Chat shows the sounds I was using, the speed of the music, uh, the drum beats and drum fills were generated from people's usernames. So if you want to get involved, the easiest way to do that right away is type exclamation point drums in chat for a chance to be a drum fill or a drum loop in one of the upcoming songs we do. But that's only the beginning. There are many different musical things you can request, but you don't need any musical experience to participate. There are many ways to share your creativity. Uh, you can help name all the songs we do on the show. You can help write the script of our channel's bot. Uh, we do fun community projects on Discord. So it might seem a little overwhelming, I know, but if you stick around, take a leap of faith, you'll have everything figured out super fast. So welcome again, and I look forward to meeting you in chat. Apparently I'm on social media. If you follow me there, you'll find highlights from the show, stripped down arrangements of old songs, poetry recitations, behind the scenes photos, portraits of Jiffy Starchild, thoughts on the creative process, and a whole lot more. Stuff like this. Yeah. Here is your 50 second recap of yesterday's show. I just imagine a whole bunch of people clapping, you know? Give me zombies, give me ghouls, give me fire breathing dragons. Just don't give me the trombone. When I said whiskers, I was imagining an adorable chubby cat with handlebar mustache. <laughs> it's gotta be handlebar mustache, right? so you can enjoy the favorite places where you can walk to chicken chairs. <laughs> uh, Did this become an elaborate chicken crossing the road joke? What does it mean to walk the chicken chairs? Let chat, you, let us, let's decide. What does it mean? Thanks for those calps. Let's see. Thanks, Mutie, for the commission titles. Buddy, Refrigerator Television, underscore two chasing one. Skeeter, Jump Rope and Rhyme. Mr. Robert, Dave Stephen Jenkins, Cobro, Cortex Suplex, and Staffy Bad Mad, and The Cheat. Oh, hey, Pierre. Here is here.
Oh, thanks, Chills. You know, it'd be really, you know, it'd be useful as a, as a, uh, an audio switch. They have to exist. Not a patch bay, something similar to a patch bay, but. The horns would sound much better with microphones on it, individual mics, which I did at the very beginning of the show back. But it's just, it's just impossible with like, you know, six cables going on, it's just a mess. So I just use one mic now. But what, but what would be work is if I had a single input sort of on my belt, I'm not wearing a belt, but if I were, and then, and then I just plug directly into that. So there's only one cable, but that would mean I need a switch because the, the horns have different volumes and so they, they can't go in the same channel. They have to be in different channels. So I, ideally I'd have this thing where I would just press a button and it would redirect the output to it, the input to the correct output. Some sort of rack mount. There's got to be something that exists like that. I've just never seen one. I'll tell you, Eminem says, I've been bombing to beats for decades. This one made my neck hurt. Thought I could handle it. Oh, fool that I am. Oh, fool that I am. Amazing track. Creative challenge. Smash like Hulkwood. <laughs> Thanks, beauty. Oh, some other titles. Mr. Robert with Where's the Logic? Pierre with Regular Music. It's Edison. Can we go? Please, 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 please. Ask your mother. Chills. Oh, wow. Kara Steven with Cortex Massage. Douglas Filmer. Oh, this is good. Me, myself, and Oi. Send this pole. It's a tie. Let's break this tie. Dave Stephen Jenkins. Jenkins. Awesome. Thanks, Mr. Robert. Okay, this next track is going to feature Skeeter's 5th BPM and GD Bell's 10th drum loop.
That's never happened before, though. Let's swing this one. Look at me. Remembering to swing. This is our featured sound. We're almost there to it, I think, right? I was doing some of my um, my lyric improvisation work that I'm doing today, and uh, and I was doing I was doing some rapping to uh, low. I just found some you know found some mixes of lo-fi hip hop instrumentals on YouTube and or I remember it was a Spotify or something, and they hip. Especially that whatever maybe I don't know if this is common, but definitely with this mix, almost every single track was swung. Almost everyone had swing sixteenths. And there's also this thing that you hear in hip hop sometimes that I, I don't know how recent it is. Maybe in the, probably in the last ten years. Uh, I mean, you know, you're not going to hear. I don't think you hear it on big big pop hip hop. But um, is drums that it's like they they're not quite they're not playing in time, but it's totally intentional. Uh, which, and I've seen, who was, I saw a drummer play, it was with Ro Robert, Gla Gla what was it? I saw some live hip hop, it was a jazz, it was a jazz group, but, but and it's, it is so, I mean, it, I am more impressed by drummers who can deliberately play out of time like that. It is, that is so impressive. <laughs> it is, I mean, because they're, they're in time, but they're not. It's, crazy does anyone know what I'm talking about I, there's, I think there might even be there might be a name for what they're doing uh, there's, a, there's some name for that style of drumming I don't remember what it is but it is it is I'm telling you to, to deliberately play like that play out of time and be in control of how you're out of time is that is that is that is harder than playing in time, way harder than playing in time. Dirty beats, maybe it's, maybe that's it. Maybe it's dirty. Maybe that's the. Uh... I think I was a drummer playing with yeah with Robert Glasper, who's a jazz pianist. And that's where I remember hearing it, and I, and I just saw in the comments people. I think I think that's how they described it. Adam Neely calls it drunk playing. Yeah, it's. Uh... But I, I, you know, it's only in my old age am I starting to really get into slower music. <laughs> I, no, I had no interest when I was 20. I had no interest in ballads at all. <laughs> no interest. Okay, first up, it's Broken Beat. Broken beak get thermal paste. I want a donation. From Pierre says, having a sound and not knowing about could never happen to me. Hashtag new sound. <laughs> what? Thanks, Pierre. Pierre's got a new sound, it looks like. Oh, 
Oh, are we almost to? Uh, are we? Are we? Are we perilously close? Do we? Are, do we already get? Okay, I guess I do. Must have deleted it. Okay, thanks, thanks, Pierre. Here's thermal paste. You love Robert Glasper? Yeah, it's it's awesome. He's awesome. Let's see if we can make this sort of a little hip hoppy. So it would be I, I, I mean, I don't know how, I, I mean, you could program it, but I guess let's make the snare sort of wait. Do I want it late or early? It's sort of a little late. It's stuff like that. You know? You feel that? Oh, no, I'm not going to rhyme, no. I don't know if I can do it though. I don't know if I can I don't know if I can play to that. <laughs> Dom says do more. I think I need to do slightly less. That's a little too much for me. I guess slightly less. And this snare, this snare is gonna be early. A little early. One snare is late, and then the drummer's like, oh no, I'm way behind. Let me try to catch up. <laughs> okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. <laughs> um, okay, here's G Bill. And I guess we got to mess up this beat too. We can't have the drummer suddenly go, go, go from that to being perfectly in time. I I really like drums that are out of time, but that's sort of that's that's pushing my comfort level. It's one of the projects I've been meaning to do for a long time is is making it so that the drums I can that they're constantly changing the positioning just slightly as the song is going they're never the quite the, no measure is the same. That's what I tend to do if I'm produce. I mean I didn't have time to do that on tragedy. I did have time to. Uh, I don't know if anyone noticed it, but um, the the tempo on tragedy is constantly changing. It, I speed. I do speed ups, slow downs. Uh, even within verses, I'm going up and down, just slight amounts. Okay, let's swing it, and then we will dirtify it. Okay, so let's make this late. Whoops. Make it a little later. Let's put a snare there that's just sort of early. And it, the, and the kick and the snare, they're not together. That'll be sort of, that'll be nice and awkward. Okay, that's a little off. Let's see how this goes. Let's, let's move that. Okay, that's a little too much. I went too far. Too far.
There it is, we got our beats. Okay, sounds. You look fine, low key. And then we've got. Dungeons and or Dragons. Oh, the, the look fine was from Doodle Doo Dan. This is from Mr. Robert. And then Wishmaker from Underscore. Uh, Wolf Pac-Man. It's editorial. This sound is a copyright violation. It's a debut. Buddy, backflip in slow motion. There it is. Okay, y'all pick which sound starts the improv. Oh, a donation from Mr. Robert. Thanks, Mr. Robert. Mr. Robert says, let's get this goal. Hashtag new sound. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Robert. Thank you. Let's, oh, let's demo these sounds. Here's Pierre's new sound. Oh, thanks, Frosty. Thank you. That's not it. Here it is. Okay, that's um, that's Pierre's sound. Here's uh, here's Mr. Robert. Should we put our bit crusher that we used yesterday on the kit too? I think what's what's so impressive with drummers do this is that they are they're precise, precisely out of time. They they can reproduce that same beat over and over again, whereas you know a beginning drummer is just gonna be randomly out of time, right? You know, unpredictable. <laughs> Let's end this ball. Or not even just a beginner, even my being, my, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm usually very out of, out of time and it's pretty random. It's this sound is a copyright violation.
Doug says, what is ducking? Um, yeah, Staff, you said when the drum hits, your voice cuts out. You, you, you use one sound, for, sound source to modify another sound source. So uh, uh, where I learned about ducking was not actually in music production, but in video production. Uh, where basically you have, let's say you have background music and, um, and then you have, uh, you have a voiceover. And so you want the background music to be as loud as possible because music's awesome, but you don't want it to make the, the spoken word hard to understand. So whenever the voice, you, the voice starts talking, you, you lower the volume of the music underneath it. Oh, Doug says, oh, is happy with the voice? Yeah, I have that set up to do it to make the keys not as loud so that whenever there's audio going through the system, um, it reduces my vocal mic. So I, tr I, I could do it even more, and then you would never hear the clattering of the keys, but then it would be even more pronounced, the effect. Because I want to be able to talk, is it, is it, it maybe even now it's too much. It might be, it might be uh, way too much. If you're noticing it, ideally you don't notice it. Angry, angry chicken, you like the chunky keys? At least, at least once a month we have someone coming in and asking, uh, you know, you can the keys are really loud. <laughs> yes, yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> I've been streaming almost four years. Yep, they're really loud, I know. Oh, oh we got to quit, don't we? We got to force quit. Oh, did I tell the light show that it was on? Yeah, the light show's not working. Nothing, the camera switching's not working. Man, nothing's working. There we go, okay. Oh, and hey, to hug Queen LD. Okay, here we go. Time to accelerate.
remember how it used to be used to be I remember how it used to be I remember how it used to be used to be I remember how it used to be I remember how it used to be used to be
separating the strong from the weakest, tapering off, separating the rolls from the rocks. There's no one around in this lost and empty town. There's no one around. I'm choosing the cheapest. I'm winning. I'm no defeatist. You hear that first snare? It hits so low, it hits the deepest. There he is, 
playing the bar Trying to act like He don't got no broken heart Hi, if this is your first time watching and you came in during the music, welcome, I'm the Etc. Kid. What you are listening to is a live musical improvisation, meaning I was making it up as I went along from scratch. But I got a ton of help from chat. The chat shows the sounds I was using, the speed of the music, I turn people's names into drum rhythms. So everything I do grows out of and is inspired by the contributions you guys make in chat. There are many ways to participate. The easiest way to get involved right away is type exclamation point drums for a chance to be a drum rhythm on one of the upcoming songs. But you can also help name the songs we create here. Uh, you can help write the script of our channel's bot. We do fun community projects on our Discord. So we got a lot going on. It might seem a little overwhelming at first, but I hope you'll stick around, take a leap of faith, and you'll have everything figured out super fast. So welcome, and I look forward to meeting you in chat. If you've been enjoying the music today, we actually release every live show as a live album on Bandcamp. None of the talk, just the music. There's liner notes with uh, credits for everyone who made requests on the songs or named one of the songs. You can pre-order it at any point during the show. Uh, or if you feel like you might want a lot of the shows we're doing, uh, you can become a Bandcamp sub. And as a Bandcamp sub, you can download every new album we release, which at this point is about this many albums a month or more. Um, not only that, as an added bonus, you can download a certain number of albums from the archives. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions about how it works uh, and know that this is one of the best ways to support what we're doing here. Things move pretty fast in ETC world, but you can keep up on everything on the Instagram, the Twitter, the Facebook, the YouTube, the Discord. You'll find fun content like what you're about to see. <laughs>
Thanks for those. Thanks for those calps. Titles. Let's see. Um, Frosty 022 with systemic collapse. Angry Chicken Conspiracy Query. Pierri, the artist known as the Reader. Hug Queen LD, the Reflection of Shade. Dom says bring the pie charts back. Carried weight. And underscore a profound sense of self. And I, I, I don't know if I clicked on everybody. I, 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 uh, it's, it's, tar it's hard to be doing that and clicking on titles, but um, I, I pulled words from uh, underscore, so I put gold credit in pre query so does that not carry over? Oh, pre core yeah, oh yeah. pre cores and encores do not. Uh, since you didn't know that, how, how much did you put in yesterday? I'll give you your gold credit. I'll give it back to you. I need to make a note of that. I, really, I, I need to make, yeah. Yeah, every other goal does, except encores and pre-cores. But maybe it was $20. Yeah, I'll give you your goal. I'll give you gold credit. Just one sec. Sorry about that. Choosing the cheapest, separating the strong from the weakest. Is that right? Separating the wrong. Ah, uh, you should have you should have your twenty now. Oh, thanks, Mitty. <laughs> Thank you. Glad you enjoyed it. I'm choosing the cheapest. I'm winning. I'm no defeatist. Um, thanks, Mitty. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I pulled things from Skeeter's How It Used to Be. Yeah, how It Used to Be. Skeeter uh, tapered off. Skeeter diagonal fracture. Hug Queen Oldie, no one around. Feeling cracks. Um... Eminem and M late but on time. TikTok clockwork red delicious. Pierre, the first snare is the deepest. Staffy choosing the cheapest. Staffy cracks in the ice shelf. Uh, Staffy, my heart is a barricade. Staffy feelings manufacture and seems suspicious. Staffy playing the bard underscore reflection underscore wild card. Oh, and a donation from Staffy. Thanks, Staffy. Thank you. Staffy says this is awesome. Hashtag download. Thank you. Oh, we had a sub from Doom Blazer. 85, thanks, Doom Blazer. Oh, CD's here. City's here. Some other titles. Doom Boys 85, good song. A uh, city with this one so chill. Eminem and Eminem. Just you and me in the world was nothing but a memory. Buddy with Cherry Blossom sing for spring. Underscore licking our wounds. Skeeter. Oh, I already said those. Uh, Staffy, Compressor. Carol Sieben, Aliens Ate My Synth. Douglas Fillmore, Delicious Beats. Frosty 022, it is a treasure for the strong and the weak. P. 
Thierry, eight minutes. Hug Queen LD, mountain trails. Angry Chicken, finally solved that crossword puzzle. Although staff says, reminds me, how did the meowing, how did I do it? Or how did it go? Like little children falling down into deep wells. Send this pole. How did it go? Um, I think Catitude liked it. I think she, I think Catitude enjoyed it. Yeah. Oh, it's a tie. It's a Oh, uh, me says, once you get more comfortable with rhyming those bars of your playground, you can swing in all your kid playground. Your flowing and phrasing is so good. Oh, thank you. I mean, I have a, I have a really long ways to go, but I, I'd have fun doing sort of what, there's a couple people that do it on Twitch. There's, um, well, the only one I remember by name is Insomniac Racks, but we've raided a f couple other people that do just freestyling from chat. Um, but it's uh, it's really fun when um, um, I really enjoy the process of getting things from chat. I think it makes it so much easier, <laughs> to, you know. There's just always something there to be inspired by. Underscores that level of chat interaction during a song is really fun. Yeah, so I, I want to get, I mean, that's why I started doing it, you know, working on improvising lyrics. I still have really far to go. I think it's actually, it's easier to do the more talky style stuff than singing. Um, but my, you know, my long-term goal is to be able to do full verses and choruses sung or rapped or whatever. That is just that people feel, you know, that... I think what I would, what I would like though is if I do that, if I'm doing that much, it'd be nice if I created a way for someone in chat to be in charge of noting whenever I um, use somebody's words because it's a, it's it's sort of <laughs> it's sort of a headache to be trying to be improvising while I'm trying to click on the right place and sometimes I miss click or things free <laughs> um, so I if I do this if I ever get to the point where I'm doing this all the time a lot I think I'm gonna create a way for chat to help because I want to credit everyone. I want people to get their credit on YouTube and Bandcamp and everything, you know? But this is, oh uh, yeah, I have, I have this screen that I switch to. So I'm not looking at normal uh, um, chat. I'm looking at this special screen I created that just shows titles. It doesn't show anything else. And its underscore is named it a profound sense of self. I 
I think, well, some of y'all were here when I mentioned this. So I started, it hasn't, I haven't been real consistent about it. It's been something I've been doing off and on, pretty much working on it since September, but there'll be several months where I won't work on it and then I'll, but I'm, I'm sort of back in gear again. But back in, I think October or something, I did this thing where I was hiking and I was telling the plot to myself of, I did Star Wars, I did all three of the, the trilogy, Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. I retold them rapping just in, my, just in my mind as I was doing these hikes. That's, that's a challenge. I'm glad it wasn't recorded. I'll say that. Whoops. I was going to say that sounds like future YouTube material. <laughs> but I think, you know, um, the, um, you'll notice that with what I'm doing with trying to learn how to do this is that I'm, I'm rarely just trying to do it from scratch. Um, that's obviously where I'm headed, but I think when you're learning, when you're trying to do something creative and you're, you're sort of learning at the same time, it's really helpful to have at least some elements that you're not responsible for. You know, you're starting from, you know, I'm using a story and I'm having to wrap that story. So I already know the content. I'm just trying to find the rhymes or I do exercises where I have all the ending rhymes and I'm just trying to think of what's going to go before each word. Um, but I know where I'm going to end. Um, I, another exercise I, I've been doing is I take a line of a, a, a song, like I was doing a bunch of Bob Dylan songs and then and some Springsteen songs. I was doing some, uh, I was doing poetry where I take a line of theirs, I'd say it or sing it, and then I, I, have, to, I have to come up with the next line. And then I do their line, and then I do my line, and then their line and my line. Oh yeah, we got a bunch of sounds. But so, in other words, if you know, if you're trying to do something and it's overwhelming, or it just seems impossible, it's often because you're just trying to do too many things at the same time, and you can break it down into smaller parts and confront different parts of it. Um, another example of of sort of, I was just thinking about this today. Like, let's say you're trying to play a line that goes. It's just it's a fast line on a you know it's like da 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 da. And you're, you, you, there's something you're having a hard time playing it evenly. One thing you can do is you can go da 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 da, where you play one note longer and then the next short shorter, and then you reverse which is short and which is long, and go da 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 da. You know, and 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 then it's a lot easier than to go back to da 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 and be very even. So almost, almost always when, when we're struggling to figure something out, there's a way to break it down into smaller parts or to uh, you know, find ways to identify where it is that we're getting stuck and then really work on that part. But it takes sort of stepping back and, and not sort of beating your head against the wall and just saying, okay, how, how can I break this thing down? How can I sort of look at it from a different angle? Okay, let's see. Sounds. We'll get some sounds. Hey, Uji. How are you?
Eminem says, you know how the 145 chord made a lot of rock careers? AABA rhyming scheme made a lot of rappers rich. Hey, Gucci Gang made money with AA. Do you, by AABA, do you mean the A's are rhymes and B is different? Is that what you mean? I don't, I'm not sure what you mean. So you have four lines and and what I'm doing for the most part is I'm still I'm still just trying to find any rhyme I can <laughs> wherever I can find it. I'm I'm not quite at, at thinking about structure. Okay, sounds, we got, oh no, they're just, oh no, they are sounds. Um, Doug gifted a sound to Angry Chicken. Here's Angry Chicken's sound. Media says, yeah, so the A is line one, so two and four rhyme with line one, and line three is for contrast. So like the goose is hyped and moose is light. When we all dance, the groove is tight. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's, uh, here's Angry Chicken sound. Yeah, I'm more, I'm, I'm, at this point, I'm pretty much A, A, oh no, can't think of another A, B, B, uh, C, 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 D, oh, I can't think of a D, I guess I'll just go straight to E, oh wait, how am I back on A, <laughs> how'd that happen, that's, that's how my, that's how my, my mind's working. But I, st I mean, I still have so far to go to feel really com to feel comfortable. But um, when I started doing it, it seemed impossible. And you know, like anything, you just have to work at it. And it gets, I, again, I have very, very far to go. But um, there's no way I would have been able to do what I just did, um, you know, nine months ago. I mean, I might have been able to. But I had to get to the point where I would let myself do it. And I might not be able to let myself do it tomorrow. It's just y'all caught me at a moment where I, I was like, okay, I'll do, I'll do it. But um, he says, See, you're so close you don't realize that that's how most rappers do it. They use the B to think of something for the next day. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. I see, I see, I see what you mean. I think one thing I really like about rapping that you don't hear much in poetry or, um, or lyrics, sung lyrics, is the amount, the, the, the amount uh, times where there's internal rhymes it seems like rappers use internal I mean, within your a you know you'll have rhymes and one thing i really like that that rappers some rappers do i i that i i i just can't really think of um many singers that do this where their phrase sort of goes past where you expect it to end it's because they want to fit in so many words they keep going and a lot of modern modern uh songs with lyrics I am not a fan of because there's I don't hear any melody. It's just it's just this, these war, but I also don't hear that rhythm that that a, the rappers have. Whereas where, when that rhythm is there, I don't mind um, that there isn't necessarily a, the sort of normal phrasing. 
I guess it's, it's, I, I'm not a, a with with sung. I am not a fan of sung lyrics where to me it sounds like they wrote the words first, right? Um, now there are lots of singers who who write the words first, but they're 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 masterful in being able to uh, make it feel connected to the melody. Uh, but I'm not a fan. And and the same thing I think with with rappers that the ability to take you know, probably most rappers are I don't know. I imagine most rappers are starting with the words. I don't know. I mean I'm guessing. I would think that probably most rappers are not going, but da ba da ba da da ba ba da da. What can I put in there? But maybe they do. But with you know many uh, vocal writers write that way. That's how I write. I never wrote lyrics first ever. Always would write melody first and then put lyrics to the melody. Dobbs is when rappers. Leave Beat One Empty is from Blues Work Songs. Oh, I, I miss Over the Bar, I just like Bebop. Yeah, yeah, same history. Yeah, I see, yeah. Slant rhymes, yeah. Right, but we but we don't hear that too often, that kind of style in um in uh in sung melodies. I, I can't think of many examples like that. You know, like Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. His fleece was white as snow, and I would have a. You know, it has this. There's this sort of natural phrasing, um, but there's something really cool when you can extend it in this. Um, it's unpredictable, and it, it puts you off kilter in a really cool way. He says you should check out Ghostface Killer. His flow is kind of what you mentioned. He wants to say so much in such little space. Oh, Angry Chicken, you need to include the code so that Tubi knows which sound you're referring to. And your code is um, uh, N N W I. So you need to put in between your where you wrote sound name and upbeat, you need to put exclamation point sound name space NWI space upbeat laser synth. <laughs> is Marietta Little Wind public domain? I think it is. Yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> um, fortunately. Okay, here is um, uh, here's Douglas Fillmore's sound, NQI. That's not, and and Dom, Doug's named it not quick enough. And then um, did I? Oh wait, uh, Miss Robert named their sound high definition kid. Pierre named their sound really unique, cursed. I think that's everything, right? Yeah. Oh, and that, there it is. Angry Chickens named their sound Upbeat Laser Synth. And Buddy has named their sound New York Kick on Ones, the wonderful version.
Hey, Q Square. Yeah, we're just we're winding down. Here's our set today. Oh, we only need four tracks? I didn't feel like I talked that much. Guess I did. Meandering Path, we did The Prison of Idealism, Just Kind, Levitation, Dave, Stephen, Jenkins, and then we ended on a profound sense of self. It's still, still over an hour of music. <laughs> um... Okay, let's do these thank yous. Our Superstar Mods, Buddy, Dom, and Tubi. Thank you, Mods. We had support from Cobro, from Beauty, from Doug, from Mr. Robert, from Pierre, from Buddy and Staffy. Thank you. We had a cheer from Chills. Thanks, Chills. We had a new sub from Doomboys85, Sabine Jr., Cobro gifted to uh, Be Wonky and D Head Slain and Caro Sieben and Lindsay Davignon, Ray Twist. Staffy Games is continuing a gifted sub. Thank you. Thanks to all our lurkers and chatters. These 19 names you see on screen, either named or current tour, named or venue, named one of our songs, they included. Buddy Cobro Dom says, bring the pie charts back. A read or I'll make a longer. Say my name. Doodle Doo Dan. Douglas Fillmore. Et cetera. Troll. GD. Bill. Hug Queen. LD. Carol Sieben. Kid Vet. 58. Eminem. 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 Molotov. Cocktail. Mr. Robert. Pierre. Roddy Roddy. Truger. Skeeter. Scabberg. YZ. Staffy. And underscore. Let's roll these. Oh, it's the weekend. It's the weekend. <laughs> Fiori Penguin says, Have a tolerable tomorrow. It's set of rights. I'll tell you, when I started today's show, I never would have predicted that I would have sung the word Sid Vicious in a song. <laughs> never, would have, never would have predicted that. Okay, let's see. Media says magic of improv, yeah. Find somewhere to raid. Oh, wait, is that... Are those, uh... 
Uh, Doug, you remember the name of that? Well, um, I forget their name. Is that the uh, Psych Psych folks? Are they streaming today? What was their name again? If they're playing, I want to raid them. Electric streams next week. Oh well. We raided this guy. Uh, thanks, Doug. Yeah. Uh, we're going to raid someone new to me. <laughs> give him... Give him some ETC love. But thanks. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful whatever comes next. Have a great rest of your weekend. Uh, so I'll be back Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There's a chance I will do a short stream on Monday or something if, if I decide to do one of these uncovers again. We'll see. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Take care, everyone. See you soon.